today's video guys we're gonna have a look at one of the latest releases coming from Nike for a pair of uh, Air Max 1 which it's not surprising anymore that it's uh, still sitting on the sneakers app Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also giving me a like, it will really help out the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days. In today's video guys, we're gonna have a look at the latest release coming for a pair of uh, Air Max 1. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box, which as usual will come in one of the regular boxes, which will be in this red color. And this one will have the big Nike lettering, also the Nike Sushi in this white color here on top. So let's go ahead and take them out. So in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at a very interesting uh, take on this uh, Air Max one in this uh, sail and coconut milk colorway. The latest drop for a pair of Air Max 1 guys came just a couple of weeks back for the retail price of 145 pounds and this one it's still available on a sneakers app in most of the sizes and also on other websites as well. So this one to be honest uh, it looks uh, quite nice and it will bring some slightly different uh, materials comparing with your normal general releases but this one will come for the same retail price as most of these releases nowadays. So as I said earlier, uh, 145 pounds here in the UK, which will be around 160 or 165 US dollars. So if I'm not mistaken, this one came just shortly after that uh, big bubble release in that uh, blue colorway, which I guess a lot of people were more interested in, but it seems that even that one it's uh, still sitting in a lot of uh, places. So for sure, the sneaker market uh, went down a lot, at least uh, in the last year or so. So let's not waste any more time guys and also do a breakdown of this one. So as you can see for this upper as usual for most of these releases we're gonna have a mix of a few materials. One of it will be this uh, white mesh material which is actually quite thick. I would say that this one uh, feels actually like a canvas material. So for sure the breathability for this one won't be as good as you would expect. So on top of this uh, very thick mesh material, we're gonna have a few other overlays. One of it will be this uh, suede material in this cream color, which will cover the front part of the tobo section. We're also gonna have it as a mud guard and it will also cover the whole heel section as well. And besides this uh, suede material, we're also gonna have this uh, creamish uh, tumble leather, which will be present at the lacing system in the midfoot and covering here at the back, uh, just above the heel section. But this one apparently it's gonna be a synthetic one which will be the case also for this uh, Nike swooshes uh, present here in the midfoot on both sides. As in for the actual lacing system we're gonna have your normal punch out holes. Uh, of course uh, the last two of them will be made out of this rubberized material. So these eyelets will keep in place this uh, flat uh, white laces but uh, in case you want to give it a bit of a color in the actual box you're gonna have this uh, sail laces which will have this red and blue hints on them which for sure are looking quite nice so underneath these laces guys this time we're gonna have a slightly different um, material for this tongue which will be a nylon one in this white color and this one as most of these releases will have this uh, tag here at the top which will come in this white color and on top we're gonna have the nike air max and also nike swoosh in this brown color which will also be present uh, here at the back of the heel section on this tumble leather but this this one won't be stitched as most of these releases, it seems that this one will just be painted on top in this brownish color. So to finish up here at the ankle section guys, uh, on the outside we're gonna have this uh, smooth leather material in this white color, which most of the times will be a mesh material. So going now inside of the shoe guys, for this one I'm gonna have a very nice lining uh, in this off-white color, which uh, as usual uh, underneath will have a very good amount of padding which will keep your foot quite good in place 
Now, so at the bottom, we're gonna have this uh, blue foam insole, which, uh, as usual, will have these uh, perforation holes here at the front. And uh, here at the heel section, we're gonna have imprinted in this white color the Nike Air and also the Nike Sush. So now, guys, we can go to this uh, polyurethane uh, midsole in this white color, which will have a normal standard pattern, nothing changed here. This one will also have this uh, exposed uh, air sole unit um, here at the heel section which will have a window on both the medial and lateral side and giving that this one will have a very old technology unfortunately the level of comfort won't be that great but giving that it's more than 35 years old i would say that this one is still quite decent so now guys we can finish with this uh, rubber outsole in this uh, white and brown colorway which will have your normal standard pattern nothing changed here so this one will include this waffle pattern which we're gonna have it uh, here at the front as usual here in the midfoot we're gonna have the big uh, air lettering and uh, just uh, in front of it we're gonna have a slightly smaller nike lettering also the nike swoosh which is something usual coming for most of these uh, air max one releases as in for the actual sizing guys for me as i have a skinny fit for this range i'm always going with a half size down and this one fits me just fine but i would say that if you have normal fit guys you can just stick with your true to size but just in case you have wide feet most definitely i would suggest to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this front part of the shoe which is actually a bit pointy is not going to be too tight for you so overall guys this latest release coming from nike for this air max one in this uh, cell and coconut colorway in my opinion it's looking actually quite nice for sure the color blocking it's uh, quite uh, nice and uh, i guess quite good for this uh, summer which is just around the corner but unfortunately for this one we won't have your normal mesh material which i would say that it's gonna be a bit more breathable for this one we're gonna have a slightly thicker one which for sure doesn't let too much air to go in and even though we're gonna have a nice uh, suede material at the front uh, on the side and also at the back the rest of the materials for this upper will be synthetic ones but i guess it is what it is at least uh, the color blocking uh, it's uh, looking quite nice and of course uh, in case you don't already know uh, this uh, midsole is not gonna provide one of the best comforts in the world but in the same time giving that this one it's uh, uh, more than 35 years old technology i would say that it's uh, still quite decent so yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of one of these latest color combinations available for this uh, nike air max one i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days of course if you want to have a look at any of my latest reviews you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen and as always i'll see you in my next one thanks for watching